All right, this girl is killing me, man. All right, dear Billy Bighead. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are really accurate this week. Uh, back nine, Bighead. I mean, what? what I'm fucking on the ropes here. Somebody throw in the towel. Uh, I am a sophomore in high school, but I've been listening to your podcast for a year now. I, I need some advice. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is fucking scary. I hope you need some fucking regular advice. All right. I need some advice on how to handle this girl. Hey, Nia, are you out there? Nia? You want to you wanna give this kid some advice? Oh, that's right. You're sick. Okay, sorry. Hang on. Let me hit pause here. Hang on, hang on. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Jesus Christ. She's still sick. She's still sick. Sleeping upstairs again tonight. Um, all right. Uh, sophomore in high school, and I need some advice on how to handle this girl. <clears throat> I dated her for about nine months last year. A lot of heartache this, this week and learned a lot. The problem is that this girl is really immature, and I cannot have a conversation with her without her arguing. Sorry, I picked this up. Without her arguing with me or something over something not important. Oh, dude, you're a son. Who gives a shit? Fucking move on to the next one. For example, towards the end of my relationship with her, she gave me the silent treatment for multiple days because I told her I didn't like Australia. She constantly <laughs> insulted me, called me dumb, and told me I was a terrible brother. Are you dating your sister? Or she just observed your family? What state did this come from? And did crazy things like this throughout our relationship. She's one of those girls who thinks that she, she's always she that she always gets to be right, and I am not. And I am not about that life. He says uh, when she broke up with me, it was this whole scene. Well, dude, this sounds like you dodged a bullet here. What dating is all about is meeting what you don't want, and then you figure that out, and then you finally fucking meet the right person. You totally, you're fucking young as shit. What's the problem here? I got very close with her family, and well, so you're a good guy. And when we broke up, her seven year old sister sobbed. Jesus Christ. Her mom even went to the extent to call me on the phone to tell me I was a great boyfriend and wish me, wish that me and her could possibly work things out in the future. Her family adores me to this day due to the fact that I really played up the whole nice guy thing. Oh, what are you really an asshole? This is where things get even worse. She constantly leads leads me on, and I fall for it. Yeah, that's what being young's all about. And at a town fair, we have we have she hung out with me all weekend. We were very flirty, and she heavily led me on. But when I asked her out, she said she wasn't ready. All right, dude. This once again, if you listen to the last one, this is why you do not stay in contact with ex girlfriends. OK, she just doesn't she doesn't want you to meet someone else until she's met somebody or I don't I don't what why, I don't know what the fuck they think. I just know. I just know you just you got to You got to You guess you got to walk. You got to walk. All right. The same thing happened a few months later. I have left her alone for the past few months, only talking to her once every three weeks. And every time she ends up being mad at me for some dumb reason. An hour ago, she was mad at me for not. Roasting her. And called me pathetic. Roasting her? I'm trying to figure out where the fuck you live. You got a little fair. A town fair. And then you guys also have roasts. I don't know what this is. All right. She apologized all the time for her action, but continues to do the same thing. Should I not even talk to her? Or should I forgive her because she's just immature and can't handle her feelings? Any advice would be appreciated, especially if you get the... uh, the lovely Nia to answer as well. Hope the family's doing great and go drink a beer. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, I would just have a, a, a conversation. I would just say, listen, uh, I don't enjoy talking to you because you always get mad and you yell at me. We are broken up and I don't think it's healthy for us to continue talking to one another. However, when I see you, I don't want it to be weird. So is there a way... That you, you in a nice way could just fuck off and let me get on with my life. But if I see you, you know, we could just walk by, you know, we could raise eyebrows, you know, and acknowledge that we saw each other. Maybe we could high five and not saying anything. 
you know, and then if she flips out, it gives a fuck. It gives a fuck. I mean, it just doesn't, you know, doesn't sound like. Here's a question for you. Since you broke up, has it ever ended well? Any interaction, any interaction you've had with her. Okay. If the answer is no, then you got to stop interacting with her. But it seems like it's such a small town. I'm judging you because you went to a fair. Okay. So in my world, you brought your prize pig down there. And I don't know what the fuck happened after that. All right. Um, I would say, yeah, I would just, you know, there's, I imagine plenty of other women, you, uh, you know, uh, what's the proper word at that age? Chicks you can fucking go to school with. There's really no middle world, right? Girls. You're not a girl at that point. You're a fucking teenager. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going on Wikipedia again. I don't know what the fucking word is. Okay. There's plenty of other fucking chicks you could be hanging out with. All right. That's it. And here's the thing. Here's a tip for you. When you fucking hang out with them, don't talk about your old relationship. What about some other fucking woman? They don't, they, they, well, yeah, they don't want to hear it. Just go have a beer with one of your buddies out in the woods. However the fuck you do it. Just be like, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't encourage underage drinking. Whatever the fuck it is you guys do. That's when you vent. Uh, what, you, what you have to do is every time it, it starts to scab over, she calls up or you call her, and then you got an open wound again. What you got to do is you got you to heal like a fucking X-Man. And then the next time you see her, and I guarantee you, if you don't give a fuck, she's going to fucking be all over you and want to hook up. And this is what you have to do. You got to not do it. And then watch how quickly all that, all that flirty turns into fucking anger. And then she's going to yell at you and then just be, keep you cool and be like, this is why I don't hang out with you. Because you're fucking crazy. Something like that. And I would also ask some more adults who actually actually know the people involved in this story, including yourself. Okay. All right, good luck to you.